Hello everyone, Fez here, and today I'm going to be showing guys how to level up your weapons fast in Warzone, or for Warzone, for, for your Cold War weapons or Modern Warfare weapons, it doesn't really matter. So yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys, because there's a double weapon XP weekend this weekend, you want to grind it, I'm trying to make this video ASAP, as fast as I can, so that you guys can grind your levels as fast as possible. Please be sure to subscribe, and leave a like for more videos like this, and yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, the first tip is for the free-to-play players, the broke players who do not have multiplayer. This is what you're gonna do. You're gonna go, either you can play Battle Royale, just Rebirth, Resurgence, like I am in the gameplay right here. I'm just showing a cool clip. You can play that, or you can go in Plunder. Plunder right here is perfect because you can do supply runs to get your contracts done. Uh, when, when you get a supply run done, right? Each contract you do, e even in a normal game, you... You will get weapon XP and XP, but in supply uh, in conch in plunder you can do as many as you want. You can just keep going. So land on a helicopter, grab supply runs or recons, and just keep doing them while holding the weapon of that you want to level up. If you do that, you're gonna get lots of levels for your weapons. Since it's double XP as well, it's perfect. So yeah, this is the best strategy for the free to play players. Next strategy we have is Cold War multiplayer. This one will help you get your camos done as well as leveling up the weapon. But the problem with this is that it is atrocious. It's not very fun. But, I mean, it sometimes you'll have fun, but most of the time it's actually kind of BS. If the gun is not leveled up and you're competing against people with guns that are leveled up, as you can see with my GZRG here. So yeah, I don't recommend this, but this still works. If you're going for camo challenges, this is probably better. One extra tip for Cold War Multiplayer is that if you like playing Search and Destroy, this is actually really good for you. Because one kill in the search and destroy gives you like, like, I swear it's like four or five times extra XP than actual one kill in the actual multiplayer 6v6 and stuff. So search and destroy is actually a very good strategy for leveling up weapons. So yeah, it's very underrated. You should try it if you like search and destroy and you don't mind playing it on Cold War multiplayer. But yeah, last but not least, Cold War Zombies. This is probably my preferred method on Cold War for leveling up weapons because zombies are actually fun, right? And you're not competing, it's not serious. It's just a chill and you're leveling up weapons. I recommend going from round 1 to 5, then backing out and then restarting over and over again because the lower rounds give you more XP than the higher rounds for some unknown reason. But yeah, Cold War Zombies, if you enjoy it, level up your weapons in that. Yeah, it's a pretty good strategy to be honest. Thank you for watching this video. Please be sure to subscribe and leave a like for more videos. And yeah, go check out my protect the president video it was very funny it was a vibe to be honest hope you enjoy that and i might make a video soon on the best loadouts and stuff on this game so that you guys can know what to level up and stuff and yeah basically that's basically it yeah so hopefully you enjoyed please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos and yeah peace